Now the flight itself will consist of a takeoff and then a climb to an altitude of three meters. Uh, and then we will hover in place uh, for about 30 seconds and make a turn with the helicopter while we're hovering and then come down and land again. Now when the helicopter goes to fly like this, a few hours ago it's already received instructions from us on Earth that describes exactly what that flight should look like. The detailed trajectory that it's going to follow, how fast it's going to follow that trajectory, where and when it's going to turn, when it's going to take picture, etc. So it knows, knows at that point exactly what we would like it to do. But it has to work very hard during the flight itself in order to make that happen. Uh, in particular, it takes images of the ground below it at a rate of 30 images per second and analyzes those in order to track the features on the ground to see how it is moving across the ground. 